Big Finish is continuing their exploration into the Time War. And this time, it's with a doctor that you probably didn't expect, because it's the Time War, featuring the Eighth Doctor. So, of course, this is the Eighth Doctor in the early parts of the Time War, and, of course, Big Finish already explored the later part of the Time War with uh, John Hurt in the War Doctor audios from Only the Monstrous until this year. So, yeah. And how he is reluctant to fight, he does not want to fight alongside his people, and he's doing his best to avoid the war at all costs. Of course, this is definitely not what Cardinal Lystra wants to happen. So, of course, there is four stories in this box set, unlike the War Doctor audio, which had three. There's a little difference for you, but they are the Starship of Thesis. And the Echoes of War. The Conscript. And One Life. Now, of course, all four of these stories are written by John Dorney and Matt Fitton. I think these are some amazing writers, so I'm definitely excited to see... You know, I'm definitely excited to see these two writers begin this box set from Big Fish. And, of course, as they fall. So let's begin this review by talking about my overall thoughts on this box set as a whole. And overall... I really think the Time War, I really think these Time War stories featuring the Eighth Doctor are really good. They definitely show the, you know, the might of the Time Lord and how they will do anything to win this war. And of course the brutality of the Daleks and also the Time Lords because they are as brutal as the Daleks. And I think that's a really kind of cool thing to see, continue to see because we did see it, of course, in the War Doctor audios. And the most interesting thing is, I lo it's so cool to see the Doctor continuing just... He's fighting against his people. He's just saying, no, I refuse to fight. I'm here to help. Because he's technically a doctor. He's not really here to, you know, fight. And actually, one of the cool things is right here. On the back of the box set, right here. The doctor stands apart from this conflict. He is not a warrior, but a healer. And it's actually kind of interesting how in this box set, he basically gets to slowly get to see more of the time war and how it eventually gets on him. Another big thing, of course, this box set has a new Eighth Doctor has a new companion right there beside him. Now, that's also a big thing about this box set is I don't think she has enough time to shine yet. So she definitely doesn't really feel like a companion quite yet. They do a very good job introducing the character and, you know, who she is and all that. But I think there's still more to be developed with her. And, of course, Cardinal Lystra is amazing in this box set, as was she in the War Doctor audios. And she continues just being like this thorn in the Doctor's side. And it's definitely kind of interesting now to see two forms relationship the, with the War Doctor and now the Eighth Doctor. And you get to see how different they are. But overall, this box set definitely gets me excited for the future of this range. And I cannot wait to see more Time War Eighth Doctor stories. Because we've already gotten two before this point, by the way, in the Classic Doctors series. So, the, yeah. Okay, enough babbling. Let's talk about this first story, which is the Starship of Theseus, uh, of course, written by John Dorney. Of course, I will put the plot synopsis somewhere right here, so you guys, instead of me doing this, because, oh, can you read that here? I don't think you can read it. It's pointless to try. <laughs> now, of course, this is feels a lot more like a just run-of-the-mill adventure, you know, the Doctor having an adventure with his companion, who is not Bliss. Her name is Sheena, or is it Emma? or Emma, or someone else, I can't remember, it's kind of confusing actually, hmm, neither the Doctor, he can't really remember, <laughs> so of course this is just the Doctor, you know, with his companion having a nice little holiday, get away from everything, and just have fun for a little bit, but of course, you're with the Doctor, and of course, fun does not last for very long, of course this leads Doctor on a very long path, and of course it slowly brings into a mystery that the Doctor has to solve, and, you know, it definitely brings a lot of questions, it definitely goes back and forth, it makes you think, did I listen to that correctly? It basically challenges your listening abilities in a way, at least sometimes because they will hint at something, and you think of it, and then they do it. But of course, this doesn't really feel like much of a time war story, I feel, till the very end of it, and I think that's a really cool aspect of it, because that makes it feel like you're just watching, I mean, listening, to an Eighth Doctor story, where everything is good, you know? And, of course, it doesn't go, and this leads directly into this one, which is Echoes of War, written by Matt Fitton. 
And basically, so basically the Doctor and the new recruits, or basically new people that he meets, the survivors of this, are now stuck on a jungle world and they have to kind of fight to survive. And of course they have a Dalek who's named Dahl, who doesn't really re remember he's a Dalek, so you get to see, of course, Dalek's becoming a good Dalek, and I wonder why I've heard that or seen that before. <laughs> but of course I like how the Doctor does not want this Dalek to know he's a Dalek, because there's Daleks everywhere, and, well, that could end disastrously. <laughs> of course, I think this is another amazing story. It's the Doctor is now getting to see the full force of the Time War, and what does it do to the planets, and I really think that's kind of interesting. It's like you can see how much the Time War has affected this and what is done to the planet. And of course, this story, of course, it's a good, it's a good story. I really think this is another great story. So far, two great stories in this box set. So the third in the box set is, of course, the, cons the Conscript, or the Conscript, by Matt Fitton. Now, this story... I think is the most unique of this entire box set because of course you know the Cardinal Lister 3, 2, 1. Cardinal Lister wants the Doctor to fight in the war but he of course refuses as you know he keeps saying I'm only here to help and this means this time after the events of that one he is now in the Gallifrey kind of recruit you know regiment a camp to train soldiers for the war and this aspect alone getting to see the Doctor who does not want to fight in the war is now put into a camp where they train you to fight the war. It leads to a lot of comedical moments. You can definitely see Paul McGann's doctor give it his all, basically be sarcastic as ever and say, okay, not gonna do that, don't really care, I'm gonna use my Sonic to do this, I'm gonna fight the rules. <laughs> he is doing everything in his power to not let the war turn him into a, this camp to turn him into a soldier. And, I really find that a very interesting idea. Also, it's really cool to finally see, you know, a Time Lord training camp and see the regiment that they get to become soldiers and fight in the war. Of course, still, the Doctor hates it. He really hates being there, honestly. <laughs> so you get to see a lot of... a lot of this happening, really. A lot of bunny heads with the Doctor and the person in charge, which was... Commandant Harlan. This is a very unique story, and I really would recommend this, by the way. Out of any of stories, this is probably my favorite. The one I would say out of this box set. It may not be the best one out of this box set, but the fact that we get to see a Time Lord regimen camp training for soldiers for the war, I think is a very unique kind of concept, and I really do like it. Of course, the Doctor basically just wants to get out of this camp so he can save his friends. And... You know, he just, you know, the friends he meets, he's here to help and he wants to get them to safety and this is basically an obstacle to him and he wants to get past it. He doesn't want to be here, which happens a lot with the Doctor in this, it seems like. Of course, the box set ends with One Life by John Dorning. Now, of course, this is where the Time War comes crashing down between the Doctor and, of course, his newly recruited friends from this story and also... A secret about one of them comes out, which I thought was very unique, and I kind of did not expect that, so I'm really not going to spoil it here. It was a very good touch, and it definitely leads into some very good questions that could happen in the future of this range. And, of course, you get to see the Doctor, you know, he has to solve this problem, fight against Cardinal Lystra, and of course when they do save the day, he's with Bliss, and they go into the TARDIS, and they're just going to go off and have more adventures. So yes, those were all four of these stories. Honestly, all of them were really good. I was actually quite impressed by all four of these stories. Now, the big thing I will say, though, is I cannot wait to see more of The Doctor and Bliss. I think Bliss has a lot more chance to grow. Of course, this range will go on for three more box sets, released each year until 2020. So there's a lot of time for Bliss to grow as a character, and I cannot wait to see what, you know, what will become of her and what she will do and more interactions with the Doctor because there's a lot more that could happen. Also, I'm very curious to see more adventures with this because it's definitely a different type of Eighth Doctor than we're used to because this is the Eighth Doctor who's, you know, he's just refusing to fight. He doesn't see this war as a good thing. He sees it as a bad thing. And of course, as we all know, this leads him to eventually 
the eventual point of the Night of the Doctor, so I'm really curious to see where this range goes. And if the Time War 1 is any indication, I think this is going to be a great box set series. And yeah, so there you go. There is my review of Doctor Who, the Time War, well, the 8th Doctor, the Time War 1. A good good box set to start because you don't really need to worry about Doom Coalition or Dark Eyes. This is a fresh start. So you get to start this range fresh if you would like. You know, because there's no past continuity. All you need to know is, well, there's a Time War going on, honestly. So yeah, of course, this is not the only Time War material that is coming out from Big Finish. We also have, we have next month the War Master. So we get to see the War Masters in the Time War, which should be very interesting. Of course, play the Time War coming out, I believe, in February. And more of these coming every July till 2020. So a lot more Time War to come. So there you go, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. And if you have listened to this box set, uh, tell me your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you thought it was just okay? Or, you know, and are you excited for more of these in the future? Bye, everyone.